Okay, welcome to episode 8 of my uh, playthrough on Empyrean Galactic Survival. Uh, first off, uh, I've waited a few days before doing this episode because I have a new mic coming in and I just installed it. Hopefully my sound will be a little better this time around. Uh, not too much interference or popping. Uh, I want to thank one of my viewers, Desolation Angel. He uh, told me that the uh, new update that we had recently uh, allowed us to grow buds. So I expanded my uh, little hydroponics area back here. So now, as you can see, I'm growing these flowers, and these are buds. So now I can make the uh, hot beverage, which in turn allows me to make those uh, health packs. And I think if I look in here, I have... Uh, uh, 19 of them in there right now, so doing pretty good. So other things I've done is I I, I know <laughs> Don't hit the mic. I know uh, That as I build more and more Eventually, I'm going to be going out and spending time away from here. This is my main base So I'm starting to put uh, more efficiencies into the base uh, I have in certain places of the base I had lights set up to where they only work when I walk in. You see these LCDs are off right now because I have the master power save switched to off. So I'm going to turn that to on. And that controls the LCDs, the constructors. And you see this here? This is the furnace. This was a loot item off of the uh, artifact. You know, it's just a little item in, in the uh, artifact. And when I went over here and installed it, it was this huge, huge thing is the furnace. So you can see why I have all this room around here to be able to expand on something like that. So let me kick on the, and there, and now all my warning uh, the switch conserves power. So you got that. Now all the LCDs are on. Uh, these are on. Uh, the uh, uh, area back here. Oh, I got a little ATM here with some money in it also. So again. I don't have, this is kind of like the future construction zone area in the back. I haven't done anything back here. Uh, future, figure out what I want to do back, back here. But I did extend the, uh, extend back here for, for this. So I, I have quite a good uh, farm now. I should have no problem for uh, health or uh, food items at, at all. Uh, see a few decos here? deco plants and things like that so I got uh, I did go back to the artifact and I did a little stripping I stripped some uh, some uh, of the uh, uh, components that I, I thought I could use uh, while I was doing that I found a hidden red container it, it was hidden but there was a switch for it but I missed a switch and I found some some pretty good stuff with it so that was kind of kind of neat down here I, I never mentioned about it but uh, there's actually a, another floor down here and I'm uh, uh, debating what to do with this, make it sort of like a tunnel system uh, going different places. So that, that's something in the future. I do have to watch out because I do want to keep my place uh, totally uh, sealed. So that's why it's sealed. Well, you know you're not sealed if you walk in an area and you hear the wind howling. Then you know you're not, you're not sealed. So uh, if you remember, there were other things I was going to do as well. I was going to uh, work on the back area to build a... A new entrance that the hovercraft could use in the back area and if you see there's my hovercraft there and that hovercraft is not my permanent hovercraft that was just a thing I built to do some mining with I'm gonna build myself a, a better one uh, also I went ahead what I did was I kicked the uh, uh, you see the little motion detector up there I, I, I hit that uh, in fact if I walk out and you look back lights all went out see that and these lights came on and this area here is the area that uh, I dug out and I dug it up towards the surface and it's just uh, these lights should go on there they go they went on so that's just power saving power so that my uh, solar can uh, handle a lot of things during the day and uh, my power can last if I have any extended you know someday I'm gonna be going to space gonna visit other planets and stuff I may want this uh, base to still run but this is the uh, the uh, side exit that is uh, useful for either my vessels or the uh, the hovercraft either one to go in here and slide in and, and, and get in I, I put any weapons here 
Uh, but what's neat about this place too is that the enemy's drones come over this mountain here. And when my guns, my cannon down here engages them, they usually drop only about 50 meters away from here. So I can just come up through here and just loot them real, real easy. Also, I added a bunch of solar panels down here to uh, get me a little bit more solar power. Like right now, it's a cloudy day. If I hit P and look at statistics, I can see that I'm uh, oh, putting out 213 kilowatts. If I'm using 883, and that's what that switch turned on. If I turn that switch off, that's going to drop to like maybe 400 or, or something like that. And it means my fuel will uh, not go down as, as quickly. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to be able to do that. Uh, so I did, uh, I did go back to the uh, artifact and uh, kind of uh, knocked it down just a little bit, just to take some things. And I went ahead and took apart my other small ship that was there and then put all the parts into my uh, storage. So when I build a new ship, I'll have those parts. So I was able to save that. And it's starting to get uh, uh, dark here. But now i got to figure out what I want to do now. Uh, th there's a couple of choices here. I'm in this area here on the fringes of this radioactive zone. Uh, I do need to mine, and but I'll probably mine on my own uh, my own time. But I've got uh, this abandoned mine over here that uh, I need to look at, and I have this crash. So I, I have all these these areas that are outside the radioactive zone that I can check out. Ancient shelter, but you know what? <laughs> the, the tutorial portion of the game, the Robson Protocol, has been sitting there for a long time. And I, I, it's kind of funny because I'm almost uh, now going to be OP for it, right? Because when you start, you're looking to go to these places to pick up your uh, uh, tools and things that you might not get normally and, and to get like a head start. Well, I've got a great head start right now with uh, by going after that uh, artifact. But I need to push along the, uh, the tutorial. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some explosives and I'm going to take my ship. I, I'm going to go out that way. And we're going to uh, go there, dig into it, find the core, destroy the core, and then loot the uh, vessel for whatever it has. And then uh, the Titans also have uh, hardened steel, uh, really good material. And if you uh, salvage the hardened steel, which you can do after you destroy the core, you'll have a great building material for your ships and things to, to uh, be able to withstand some of the attacks by the uh, by the enemy and so uh, uh, Titan back part Titan front part there's normally a Titan middle part too but I don't know maybe there's only a front and back this time but I'm going to cut away and uh, get into my ship and head out towards the Titan and I'll meet you when I get there all right okay hold on okay we're about to <coughs> land it's, it's kind of unusual for me in, in the earlier gameplays I didn't have both pieces of Titans this close before but they are pretty pretty close you can see each one and they're huge and there's normally three pieces uh, a front back and middle so I'm not sure if that's still the case now in this playthrough but I'm going to go ahead and land I think on top of this guy I think uh, it's gonna be evening but it's not a big deal but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lay down on top Titan is showing a lot of weapon fire damage. The weathered hull looks like it has crashed here years or decades ago. So maybe I wasn't on the Titan. I don't know what the story is anymore. Check the records for more info. But stay alert. Those who cause the disaster might still be around. Well, that's uh, a nice thought. There is a lot of red out this way, according to my. But that might be. Let me see. Go back this way. Titan broken into three parts. Okay, there we go. Make use of the detector you just found in the records and find the two main parts. Yes, I don't know if I have the detector on me, do I? Yes, I do. Okay, I do have the detector on me. Okay, just happened to have it on me. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and land on this guy. There we go. I don't have uh, automated turrets on here. These are all 
man-made turrets, whatever, no man-controlled uh, turrets. So uh, parking up here should be should be fine for me as long as I don't uh, get any key items out of the way and then end up uh, 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 you know destroying portions of the vessel and messing me up too at the same time. But I can't take anything apart right now because the uh, the vessel doesn't belong to me. If I try to use my multi-tool and try to retrieve a block, it will tell me I, I can't do that. Uh, so I need to dig down and uh, find the entrance, blow a hatch, and get inside and get around. So let me go on out here, make sure I turn on my light. I do have my... Uh, I looted a bunch of these off of the artifact, the uh, night goggles. Don't really need them right now, but uh, they're they're there. I could always change it to daytime though. But uh, so let me look around here and see where the entrance might be. I may have to dig down to find it. This, this probably goes down pretty far. Okay, let's see. Ah! <laughs> oh, gee. Sneak on me like that. Are you dead yet? <laughs> and here comes some more. Oh, I... okay. Oops, hit the wrong key. Don't want to do that. Okay, that's what I get for banging on the keyboard and slipping off the R key for rewinding. Let's see what I get. What I got for these guys here? Some odds and ends there, meat and stuff. There's a guy up here. Well, they sure snuck on me kind of quiet there in the beginning. Fast and quiet, and of course, like. I doubt they came out of that lake right there. They probably just spawned right behind me. But if I had my uh, my uh, ship set up to have like, automated turrets, it would have helped me out there. But boy, that uh, that that got me. Okay, so let's look around here some more. Right here, I may have to blast into one of these areas here. Let's see front. Once I once I'm able to get this ship mine, and I can uh, disassemble some of the engines and things, are really. How many of you guys are out here? It's not even nighttime yet. Okay, and there's, no, there's more up there. Oh. Am I going to have to start from the top of this thing? I'm glad I bought a lot of ammo with me, but uh... I did bring a lot of ammo, which is good. The sooner I get inside, probably the better. I don't see... I don't see an obvious door here, so... I think I'm going to blast down from the top and work my way in. Right, what's the easy way to get down in here? Ah, that looks like an easy way right there. So I did bring my explosives. And this should be one easy explosive right there. Isn't that easy? Uh, so let's try another one. Hardened steel takes a while. What kind of damage am I doing, if anything? Here, let's see. Okay, it's knocking off 50 points at a time. There's three left, so that means I need three more just to get this. So one, two, three. So now I'm in there. Okay. okay. 
Down, down, down. So now I've got to dig. Got to figure out where things are here. There are doors here. There's a door right there, but that was under. Couldn't see it. So I'm going to cut and I'm going to start digging. And when I find something interesting, I'll come back and I'll let you know. Well, in the earlier versions of the game, when I got to the Robinson Protocol, I only had the basic drill, and you know, it took a lot of work. But look at this. This tier two drill is, took it like a hot knife through butter and just melted away all that rock. It just went right through it pretty clear. I opened this whole thing up. Now, as I did, you see these two arrows up there pointing. These are elevators going down below. There is one storage here, a tier two two fridge I don't have a tier two fridge uh, and it's got uh, some stuff in it that has some uh, time left before it perishes I'll probably go ahead and use that eat it later uh, interesting I, I got that uh, instead of uh, some other stores but I'll probably find some more stores down below and that's what I'm gonna do now now I'm going to just go down through here and dig through here and I'll stay with you just for a little while. I'll just show you how quick that. Look how quick that this this uh, get down in there and dig away. That is fast. reached the bottom of the elevator. And there is a door. And I won't be able to get the door. I'm sure it's just blocked by dirt on the other side. So I'm going to have to blow that door. So there's no enemies around here. Let me check outside. Make sure my craft is okay where it's at. I'm going to have to blow that door because I don't think there's anywhere else. Uh, if I go down the other way, I'm sure it's the same thing. So let me check it out anyway. tell you this is the way to go. Use the T2 drill. Use the T2 drill. Okay, I think it's gonna be the same thing here. Okay, well, I have to blow the door. Let me see. It's got uh, oh, only 80 hit points, so I can blow that pretty quick. Let's go ahead and get some more explosives, and then we will there and get out of the way. Might need more than one. Let's see. Let's see. Do we need more than one, or it blew away? It blew away. Okay, good. Now this is going to be packed to the very top because I saw it pushing against the bottom at the top there. Look at that back there. Another door. Another door. All right, I'm going to cut away and dig more of this out, and I'll come back when I found something interesting to show you. Okay, I'm back. This is where I blew through that door, and uh, my drill just churned through all this stuff pretty pretty well. You see, I cleared out a lot of it. Surprisingly, though, I haven't found any containers yet. But if you look at the green line on my 
drill tool, which is number two in my quick select down there, I ran out of endurance. So I'm going to have to go back to my base and repair my tool uh, in order to uh, continue this. So I'm going to cut right here, and when you see me again, I'll have my tool repaired, and I'll be back here again. So I'm digging through here, digging all this out, starting from that end to this end. Somewhere along here, I think in one of these doors, when I go through here, I should get close to the, uh, the core. I should get close to that core, but I want to dig all this stuff out for any containers that uh, may, may be in here. Okay, so I'll see you in just a little bit. I just repaired my uh, drill. And one thing I noticed too, I've repaired it a couple of times. It doesn't repair to full strength. It only repairs to about two-thirds strength. But I started recording because as I was coming over here, I discovered the middle part. And there was a minigun drone right there as well. So I now discovered the middle part. So let me turn back towards that middle area. Right here, right here. Mid part, let me go ahead and do a, not on the drone. Let me do a uh, waypoint on him. And I'll go ahead and I'll kill that drone and get credit for finding the that thing there. So let's go up a little bit. hidden in trees right there. Couldn't see it. Go and check what it is. I don't want to check this out yet. I'm working on the other one. Yeah, okay, locker at one end of the wreckage. Well, I got to land anyway because I want to get what's ever in that drone. But uh, I really don't want to work on this ship when I'm already on the other one. But what the heck? We'll see what we get. I'll stay up here on this guy. Those spiders. Those spiders freaked me out last time. I wasn't ready for them. I definitely wasn't ready for them last time. And there's a uh, Stegosaurus over there. Back here quick. Okay, do I really want to jump into here? this I can get in there uh, okay let's do it let's do it I'll go back to the other chance this this one's kind of open there is some digging I gotta do but it is somewhat open and there's another layer down there I'm sure let's look at this layer first let's see what we have we got pillars do we have any elevators oh look at this oxygen Can't use it as a fraction, of course. Oxygen in there. I don't see any containers, and I see nothing here. I gotta dig down to that. Gotta dig down there as well. If I dig down the side, oh, look at this. Look at this. That's a container. Radiation protection boost. Well, I'll take that boost. All right, let me clear out this here and see if I can pull in any more. I'll go ahead and cut away and I'll let you know if I find something. Well, as you can see, I haven't really done a whole heck of a lot of digging up here, but I was 
as I was digging along this wall over here, I noticed this little down area that was full. And I dug down, and as far as the, you know, begin game tutorial sort of thing is going, I hit the jackpot as far as containers were concerned. Because I uncovered all these containers by digging out the rock. I haven't even looked to see what they are yet. I'm sure they're not going to be as spectacular as the, uh, as the artifact, but, you know, for a beginning game. Let's see what we find out. Copper and drill charge. I always use drill charge. That's uh, helpful. Magnesium and stone dust. Okay. Stone dust and multi charge. Oh, that's helpful. Sathium and pentaxid. I wouldn't expect that in the first uh, tutorial sort of uh, recovery here, but uh, gladly accept that. That's nice. Cobalt and cement. I would expect cobalt. That's that intermediate. I would expect some cobalt here. Zascosium. Wow, there's some neat stuff in here. More cement. And finally, some wood. Not bad. There's, there was more in there than I really thought there, there might. See the slant going down here? And the slant over there? It goes down to the lower levels. Now, uh, there's more down there. There's a lot of digging I gotta do. And I'm gonna dig some more of this out. And uh, of course, I need to do it on this side too. Let me see, is there another area like that over here that I dig down and find some more cabinets like that well look at that this was already open look at this I just gotta dig that out Let's see what we got there's nothing more over here right Let me make sure oh look at that walks right outside there easy in easy out oh, oh. I don't like those noises I think that was a little bug though anyway iron and plastic Gonna fill myself up here. Gotta get myself uh, uh, dump some stuff off. More iron. Biofuel. Promethean pellets and magnesium. Plastic and estrium. Oh, I'm getting all this stuff now. It's great. And. Cosium and the drill charge. Biofuel. And magnesium. Not much, but interesting stuff, definitely. So those are the cabinets. I'm supposed to be looking for an energy current, according to my uh, uh, goals up there. Let's see what it says here. The Titan info. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And done all that stuff. So I'm at the Titan mid part. And. That's a lot of stuff in there. Let's go ahead and just do what we're doing and see if we can find what we can find. I'll get back to you as soon as I uncover something new. I'm back, still on the mid part of the Titan. Uh, I once again uh, broke my T2 drill, went back and repaired it. But this time I also created a new one, so I have another one here as well. And it works a lot better, But uh, so I have both of them that I can use now. But I went ahead and read my log again. And if I look at my log and scroll all the way down, it says, uh, the part is showing a low power positioning signal energy current container locker on one end of the records. Go and check it. So I looked on the top here, and this is the fancy end here. So I just, for the heck of it, I went over here, jumped down here, and started digging this out. Turn around, dig this out, and look what I found. Right there. That, my friends, is the core. Once I bust that, I'll be able to disassemble all this stuff. Now, I don't want to mess up the uh, uh, Robson Protocol. There's, there's some more 
here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a little bit more before I uh, kill the core. See if I can find that. Uh, uh oh, is this it? Current 5.2 meters. Well, stay with me, people. Let's see what we find. The data pad you found shows some strange scratches which look similar to symbols in the alien tower. Someone also wrote the words Xerax, Talon, and Ancient next to it. Oh, okay. Uh, possibly there's more info on the bridge and the back part and engine compartment of the Titan. Okay, back part and engine part. So they want me to go back to the back part. I, I don't think I've been to the back part yet, right? Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to kill this core so that I can take this stuff apart. I still want to clear this out because uh, I want to reveal any uh, any uh, containers. So I'll do this real quick, and I'll kill the core. These are all deco units here. They look just like ATNs, but they're just deco units. thinking maybe there might be some containers here. And there may not. We'll, we'll just see. Whatever's on this side ought to be pretty much the same on the other side. Those containers on the sides, that may have been the, uh, the big prize for this one. Uh, falling down on the edge here. This is the, the end of it here. Come down. Alright, so I don't see anything else here. So let's just go ahead and kill the core. And then I'll leave and uh, I'll come back to this later and, and uh, work on it. Oops. One, not F1. There we go. So now, oh, that door stuck. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. There you go. So you can see what I, I did up here. I, I came pretty close to digging this out, and then. Uh, I can see there's really nothing more up here. And then down below, I had all these nice, on both sides I had these nice containers. And I dug a lot of this out too. I mean, there, there's more to dig out, but, uh, and I will because I want to get all the, uh, the resources from these things. But, but this is pretty much it. So I'm going to cut away and head over to the other Titan. Hold on. Okay, as I approach, it looks like I'm going to meet with some drones. So I need to knock these guys out. Two of them, okay. Be careful, they don't nail out my, uh, my cockpit here. I'm not in a very strong vessel, this is just a. There you go. Got you. Got range. Uh, there 
There we go. Let's get some of this stuff here to see what I got. Another spider showing up. Okay. Where you at? Right there. Oh, I'm shooting my own ship here, aren't I? Okay. I think I killed them all. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't know. Maybe that was worth it. Titan, which is this one over here. And I need to find answers on the Titan bridge up on top. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. I can blast in that. Elevator's got to be in the middle there. And I can probably blast up in that. Well, I probably just land on top too, but is there an easy place to land on top? up the elevator. Oh, I didn't mean to do that fast. Stop right there. Now, I do need to be careful for the drones if they come back again. So I have to keep an eye out for that. Okay, there should be an elevator in here. In the middle of it somehow. And I need to... I could go down up underneath and get into the elevator, but I think I'd rather just blast on through if I have enough explosives. Okay, I got on the uh, the Titan, and uh, according to my instructions, I'm supposed to uh, get up to the top of this bridge and find some secrets. Of course, I wasn't watching what I was doing, so I threw some... Uh, TNT or uh, explosives on the most hardest area here. It was a thousand points. Took uh, 20 TNT. But it wasn't an elevator. It was a uh, container that was behind here. Or maybe there was an elevator and I blew it up. But I don't see a way to get out up there. So I'm going to think it was not an elevator. But what's in here? T2 pistol, 22 fuel packs. Over 100 copper, more night vision, magnesium, and force field emitter box. I'll take all that. Great. And I don't think there's a way to get up there. Let me get out. So, uh, I need to find... There's actually, a, I'm sure, a door underneath here with uh, a way to get up and around there. Uh, I was just getting lazy and just going to blast my way through. So, I'll do some checking and figure out how to get up there. Hold on. All right, I'm back. I searched around the outside, found this little hole, went in, and lo and behold, here's an elevator. Fortunately, I didn't blow it up, <laughs> but here's the elevator. So I'll go into the elevator, and I'll work my way up. Now, I don't expect there to be any creatures here, but just in case. Cannot access the door. 
cannot access the door, so I've got to blow that door up. How many hit points does that door have? Oh, it's only got ten. I can't. Uh, it looks to get my weapon out. Can I kill it with this? I sure can. Great. All right. Now, I see some containers around here. Let's walk around and see what happens. You found the ship log. Audio message started. Commander, we cannot wait any longer. Well, I won't read through this whole thing here. But basically, it's a log of the ship, I guess, before it was destroyed. Security alert. Uh, and the summary at the end, as it seems, the fleet ran into enemy forces and the Titan was destroyed. Does not explain the weather material of the UCH vessel wreckages. But the data pad had some coordinates of a radar station. Well, guess what? We already saw that radar station, didn't we? Or, or did we? Pretty sure we did. Where the attack was suspect, suspected to be commanded from. You should go there. But before, build some better weapons and an armored, weaponized attack vessel. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's probably some good advice. Let's see what we got in here. Pulse rifle. Anything else around here? Shares. Radar stations heavily defended. Deal defenses. Fine. Primary mission is to find the remote mainframe access lever. Well, that's something in the future. We'll get to that point. So that's uh, that's going to be uh, interesting. And we got a shotgun tier two shotgun. This is a cargo box with glass plate and energy matrix and it's four. It's good. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, episode eight. Uh, oh, look at that. You know what that is? Might as well get to it now, right? Might as well get to it. Now. And look at that. Above the core is a container. Well, let's check that out. It's like a regular container, though. Oops. Fell down. Let's try this again. All right. Shotgun. A T2 assault rifle. Force field. Solar. Steel blocks. And some magnesium. I'll take it all. Thank you very much. Anything else up in here? I don't think so. It's at the top. But now I've got the cores killed on two of them. And it's funny because the one uh, Titan part that I had mostly cleared, I had not found the core yet. So uh, I'll have to do that. But uh, that's be it for now. I'll sign off and I'll see you in episode nine. Take care.